All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me welcome you to this high-level uh, side event on the blue economy uh, that is being held uh, on the sidelines of the celebrations that are going on here uh, in Nairobi. And I would presume around the world as we commemorate the 50th anniversary of the UN Environment Program. And as we are gathered here today to commemorate the 50 years of the United Nations Environmental Program, it is important that we take a step back and reflect on the ocean because there is no doubt that the blue economy is currently the most widespread economic platform globally. The water bodies of the world covering over 70% of the earth uh, remain a major source of wealth, creating value in trillions of dollars in goods and services across multiple sectors and subsectors. To improve the state of the oceans, it's essential for biological diversity, for our health and for the climate. Just how to do so is the key question. And the conversation on blue economy is most certainly a part of the answer. However, a sustainable blue economy requires, first and foremost, healthy, well-managed and stable ecosystems. Innovation and environmental progress must also help us to make use of the sea and its resources, but without over-utilization. Today's uh, um, session was very phenomenal in terms of, you know, setting that agenda and, uh, you know, acting as a reference. Where do we go from here? How do we carry on um, those uh, uh, declarations and agreements and engagement and, and conversations that went on uh, throughout the you know, uh, Sustainable Blue Economy Conference that was held in 2018 in Nairobi? Ladies and gentlemen, in Kenya, Blue economy is expected to significantly contribute to the country's economic growth and investment development, as envisaged in Kenya's long-term development print, the Vision 2030, and the Big Four initiatives. At present, there are continent-wide frameworks that inform the sustainable management of Africa's blue economy resources. Our global focus and utilization of the blue uh, species which include ocean seas and inland water spaces, continue to expand and diversify. I see this as an extremely exciting period for the private sector to come in and help to finance um, the move towards uh, a sustainable planet, but also to help us to deliver not just SDG 14, but all of the SDGs. Thank you. There are a number of issues that came out today, uh, like involving the uh, community, uh, it was one of the issues that was raised and uh, it was taken as a uh, 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 that we should in involve the community and that's exactly what we are doing and I think we need to even to do more, involve more people from the grassroots uh, so that uh, we both, in both uh, uh, giving of ideas and uh, supporting them. Uh, there's also facilitation, uh, we are able to come up with a facilitation to all those guys who are interested. Uh, there's something else that we have not been doing much, uh, the involvement of the private sector. Uh, it was also rusty and noted that it is key that we should employ, uh, involve the private sector. Uh, those are the guys who are going to finance. We, we as government is here to give enabling environment to do business. So that one also came out and I was uh, uh, happy with that. The Stockholm Environment Institute um, is an international research uh, institute. Um, that was founded to bridge science policy and practice. We've done that since 1989. We were created just about four years before the Rio summit, and we continue to do so in the kind of work that um, we are working on. Uh, we were created as a legacy of the Stockholm Conference, what's called the United Nations Conference on Human Environment, which was in 1972. And that is why we are proud, of course, now to join UNEP in celebrating 50 years. And not only that, we're also much more proud because we have been given the honor uh, uh, by the Swedish government uh, to lead the coordination of the science report uh, for the Stockholm Plus 50 conference, which is coming up in June. And I know we've been in consultation with many different scientific groups so that we make sure that uh, we really engage, uh, particularly for countries in the developing South, uh, in Latin America, in Asia, uh, and, and in Africa. We are meeting here today um, for the launching event of this very nice book about uh, research, science, innovation to harness the blue economy. Um, 
this is an important topic for UNIP because the blue economy can capitalize um, important elements of the issues that are facing oceans. Um, oceans stand at the center of the triple planetary crisis of pollution, nature loss and climate change. And it offers um, an integrated approach to address policy areas in a concerted way to, into a concerted um, transition pathway to blue economy. Um, science, knowledge and innovation as a cornerstone of a blue economy. We need to understand the complexity of the system, both the natural eco ecosystems, the social systems and the economic systems. There are a lot of um, recent knowledge that suggests that the blue economy provide endless resources if sustained, managed in a sustainable way. It is important that this kind of global ecosystems are harnessed with the participation and support of the entire global community. And that is why uh, the occasion of the 15th anniversary of UNEP is extremely important. We will be continuing with these efforts, particularly to turn scientific knowledge into tangible investment. This is part of the conversation we are having here today, so that communities that depend on blue economies, particularly Africa, small island developed states, can actually also benefit. Because at the moment, they are actually marginalized. It's an honor to have this book here. I've been, UNEP was very instrumental and, and humble partner in, in organizing the Blue Economy Conference in 2018, which I must admit was a global um, moment for the whole Blue Economy debate. And it generated a lot of research, a lot of excitement, and I'm very pleased to see, see this book now. And I hereby officially declared for launch. Thank you. Yeah.